Thank you for watching the VSIM for Nursing demonstration. VSIM for Nursing has been a proven learning solution for nursing programs seeking remote learning tools for their students and has helped institutions with providing a virtual simulation option as the result of COVID-19. We will begin with our overview of VSIM for Nursing and how it may benefit your institution. We'll be covering each of these topics listed and also allow for time at the conclusion of the presentation to answer any questions you may have. Designed to simulate real nursing scenarios, VSIM for Nursing, co-developed by Lairdall Medical, Walters Kluwer, and the National League for Nursing, allows students to interact with patients in a safe, realistic online environment. VSIM for Nursing provides adaptive, interactive virtual simulations with integrated curriculum resources and personalized feedback for a full simulation learning experience for every student to promote confidence and competence in patient-centered care. Schools of Nursing face several challenges when preparing learners for practice. Limitations with providing learners with opportunities to practice clinical reasoning skills and skill practice may prevent learners from preparing at their highest level for the realities of clinical practice. There is also the challenge of proper simulation integration into the curriculum where some institutions may focus on classroom learning and less hands-on practice. These challenges have a significant impact on learner performance and often result in lack of confidence and competence, poor pass rates, risk for error, and poor graduation nurse job placement. Schools of nursing have their share of challenges such as retaining faculty and lack of time for immersive curriculum development due to the shortages and overwhelming responsibilities. In addition to the historical challenges faced by institutions, the recent spread of COVID-19 has resulted in limited public gathering and multiple school closures. These unexpected events have left faculty struggling to find ways to offer students clinical experiences remotely. VSIM for Nursing is a great solution to alleviate the challenges brought by COVID-19 with remote learning tools and patient case scenarios for nursing students to practice care and decision-making skills with the added benefit of mobile flexibility, supporting a flipped classroom approach and active learning. While the immediate need may be temporary, as a result, many schools will take a closer look at remote learning solutions and how to integrate this into their curriculum long-term, therefore providing an affordable solution that can be accessed online and integrated into nursing programs is key. VSIM for Nursing provides a solution to the overarching challenge for an easy to implement online remote solution with a comprehensive list of scenario modules, each scenario designed to provide learners with an opportunity to repeatedly practice skills and decision making in specialty areas of patient care. Licenses are provided to students enabling them to continually practice and improve their skills remotely from anywhere only needing a laptop and internet connection. With VSIM for Nursing, learners develop clinical reasoning skills by prioritizing and implementing actions within several dimensions, including safety measures, communication, assessments, interventions, drug and IV management, test and diagnostics, and electronic health records. VSIM for Nursing allows your instructors to manage and track student progress where they will see a full student roster, individual scoring on vSIM scenarios, and status of completion for pre-simulation quizzes as well as post-simulation quiz scores. Each scenario includes a curriculum of pre- and post-simulation activities to prepare a student for the simulation, to evaluate their patient care, and to provide feedback. The suggested learning path or workflow is presented in the order illustrated. If students go through each step of the workflow, it will take approximately two hours to complete and could be used to make up for missed clinical time. If each scenario includes a simulation window of approximately two hours, where 10 scenarios included with each vSIM module equals 20 hours, then if we take the United States as an example, if they had eight vSIM modules where you would multiply that by 20 hours per module, that's 160 contact hours as a result of using vSIM. Now we know every country is different, where not all modules may be available in that specific country, and some students may need less than two hours to complete the workflow. 
but this gives you an idea of how you can make vSIM work for your students in making up for clinical time. Suggested readings. When a student selects a patient scenario, the scenario workflow will open to the suggested readings tab. This displays a patient introduction and a list of suggested text pages, as well as other resources to read prior to starting the simulation. Pre-simulation quiz. The pre-simulation quiz presents a series of questions prior to the simulation to assess the student's readiness to complete the patient scenario. The purpose of the pre-simulation quiz is to help identify areas where they may need remediation before working in the vSIM. Students will not receive a score for the pre-quiz. vSIM Online Patient Case The vSIM Online Patient Case is a virtual clinical simulation which, when launched, allows students to enter the patient's room and provide care to the patient by selecting actions in categories such as patient safety, communication, assessment, intervention, and medication administration. This design allows students to improve their results and competencies with each subsequent simulated patient visit. Post-simulation quiz. The post-simulation quiz is the step after the virtual simulation is completed. After reviewing the feedback log, students can opt to A, repeat the simulation, B, do additional readings, or C, continue on to the quiz which contains questions that test knowledge of concepts related to the completed scenario. Documentation Assignments The documentation assignment provides practice documenting patient information and nursing care related to each simulation scenario. Guided Reflection Questions Guided Reflection Questions are the final step in the workflow to allow students an opportunity to reflect on the virtual simulation experience and on their learning. The questions are designed to reinforce learning, promote reflective practice, and help students improve future performance. Dr. Sue Forneris is the Director for the National League for Nursing Center of Innovation in Education Excellence. Her expertise in simulation is primarily in the area of simulation development and debriefing, combining her research on critical thinking with the development and implementation of simulation education. In this video, she explains how the partnership between Lairdall Medical, the National League for Nursing, and Walters Kluwer in creating a virtual education solution like vSIM for Nursing meets the demands of today's healthcare needs. The National League for Nursing and Walters Kluwer and Lairdall Medical are strategic partners. Partnerships take you to places you couldn't have gone to by yourself. Walters Kluwer, who develops content for faculty to teach, Lairdall Medical, who provide the simulation expertise, and the National League for Nursing focused on promoting excellence in nursing education. We have to transform the way we teach and learn to provide context for our students, and that's why simulation and virtual simulation is such a game changer. vSIM is a virtual simulation teaching modality that's an immersive experience for the student. So the learner takes on the role of a nurse and moves through a patient encounter as they would if they were in a real life situation where they interact one-to-one -one and immerse themselves in a patient scenario working with an avatar, responding to patient questions, doing nursing assessments of the patient, carrying out physician orders, things that would be required of them in real life practice. The scenarios were developed with a team of practice and simulation education experts who were able to take that story and weave it into a simulation template. They might see that patient story in a textbook that introduces them to a new concept. And then that particular patient may show up again in simulation where they have to engage with the patient and that story. And then there's elements of an introduction to the patient, so the opportunity to interact with a medical record that also contains the patient story. It becomes very real life to them because they see them in their textbooks, they see them in simulation, they see them in the medical record and helps them immerse themselves and feel ready. So the three of us coming together has just been a wonderful partnership because we all bring something unique to the table to create resources for faculty that help them prepare our next generation of caregivers.
Dr. Pamela Jeffries, Professor of Nursing and Dean for George Washington University School of Nursing, is internationally known for her research and work in nursing and healthcare education. She has been instrumental in the implementation of vSIM in nursing programs at GW University and states, vSIM provides the educational mobility for students to promote learning anytime, anywhere. vSIM is very realistic so the learner sees real clinical situations and it's easy to navigate and make learning easy and convenient. Students can learn on their own and on their own time. With vSIM for Nursing, students can experience successes and mistakes while gaining the necessary confidence in a safe environment. Today's presentation will focus on two of the learning modules available for simulated clinical practice, vSIM for Nursing Fundamentals and vSIM for Nursing Medical Surgical. Let us begin with vSIM for Nursing Fundamentals. vSIM for Nursing Fundamentals includes 10 fundamental patient scenarios authored by the National League for Nursing. Let's take a closer look at each of these cases. Patient Jared Griffin, Total Knee Arthroplasty, TKA. Jared Griffin is a 63-year-old male with total knee arthroplasty, however, is known to be MRSA positive with contact precautions. You will need to apply the appropriate personal protective equipment, PPE, and complete a patient assessment. Scenario objectives. Describe the appropriate use of PPE with contact precautions. Demonstrate proper use of PPE. Perform a focused assessment of the neurovascular system and differentiate between normal and postoperative changes and signs and symptoms of infection. Patient Josephine Morrow chronic venous insufficiency with venous stasis ulcer, skin integrity, and wound care. Josephine Morrow is an 80-year-old female with a venous stasis ulcer admitted to an aged care assessment unit. She will need a basic nursing assessment and dressing change. Scenario objectives. Recognize signs and symptoms of chronic venous insufficiency. Assess the size and appearance of the venous stasis ulcer and interpret lab value results and their relationship to skin integrity. Patient Edith Jacobs, left hip fracture, activity. Edith Jacobs is an 85-year-old female scheduled for surgery tomorrow. She requires pain relief, fall prevention, and a focused assessment as well as regular repositioning. Scenario objectives. Perform a focused assessment of the musculoskeletal system. Provide patient education on fall risk Demonstrate proper body alignment using appropriate body mechanics. Demonstrate the appropriate use of various supplies to assist with proper body alignment. Patient Kim Johnson, urinary elimination, intermittent catheterization. Kim Johnson is a 26-year-old female paraplegic from a T8 spinal cord injury. She is a new admission to rehab. She requires an assessment IDC intermittent insertion and bladder management education. Scenario objectives. Perform the steps for urinary catheterization. Demonstrate appropriate actions when sterile field contamination occurs and provide patient education on bladder management. Patient Marvin Hayes, bowel elimination, colostomy care. Marvin Hayes is a 43-year-old male and yesterday had an abdominal resection and formation of permanent sigmoid colostomy. You need to assess the colostomy, empty the pouch, and complete a nursing assessment. Scenario objectives. Analyze vital signs and postoperative lab trends. Assess gastrointestinal function, output from colostomy, and ability to advance his current diet. And evaluate the stoma, peristomal skin, as well as abdominal and perineal incisions. Patient, Rashid Hamed, fluid, electrolyte, and acid base balance. Rashid Hamed is a 50-year-old male admitted with dehydration and hypokalemia secondary to food poisoning. IV orders and antibiotics need to be administered. Scenario objectives, perform a focused physical assessment of fluid status. Recognize clinical manifestations of hypokalemia and hyponatremia. And administer an antibiotic medication using the appropriate safety measures. Patient, Sarah Lynn, postoperative appendectomy after ruptured appendix, 
pain management. Sarah Lynn is an 18-year-old female, two days post-op emergency appendectomy. She needs to be changed to oral antibiotics and pain management. She will also need post-operative patient education. Scenario objectives. Perform a focused pain assessment. Select appropriate pharmacological interventions of patient needs. Administer pain medication safely and provide patient education on pain management. Patient, Vernon Russell, right-sided stroke, mild left hemiplasia, safety. Vernon Russell is a 55-year-old male admitted yesterday with a stroke that resulted in mild left-sided hemiplasia. You'll need to complete a patient assessment, neuro assessment, and medication administration. Scenario objectives, perform a focused assessment of the neurologic system and evaluate for risk of aspiration. Patient, Christopher Parrish, cystic fibrosis, weight loss and fatigue, nutrition. Christopher Parrish is an 18-year-old male, medical surgical admission, with a history of cystic fibrosis. He was admitted for weight loss and fatigue, requiring management of NG2 feeding and nutritional assessment. Scenario objectives, implement safety precautions for a patient receiving enteral feeding. Implement enteral feeding through NG tube. Assess patient's diet intake and provide patient education on nutrition needs and nutritional therapy. Patient Mona Hernandez, pneumonia, oxygenation. Mona Hernandez is a 72-year-old female who was admitted to an acute care unit with a diagnosis of pneumonia. The scenario begins as the patient reports shortness of breath after ambulation. The student will be expected to recognize a change in the patient's oxygen status, perform a focused respiratory assessment, apply oxygen in response to the findings, and encourage the patient to perform coughing and deep breathing exercises. Students should provide patient education on oxygen delivery, activity, incentive spirometry, and coughing and deep breathing exercises. The Electronic Health Record, EHR, is a patient's medical chart in addition to viewing information about the patient, it allows students to view test results, check provider orders, verify medications administered, and review other pertinent patient information. Actions that are performed in this scenario are automatically recorded in the patient log, and medications are listed in the Medication Administration Record, MAR. It's important to refer to the EHR throughout the scenario to help make the best clinical decisions. In this example, the observation chart allows learners to assess trends within patient's vital signs to make critical decisions about patient's condition and treatment, while the medication administration record allows students to see what medications have been delivered that may impact patient's outcome. The following video provides an overview of what students will experience when performing virtual simulation using vSIM for nursing. This video represents the Fundamental Scenarios module, one of several modules available with vSIM for Nursing. Discover a unique approach to simulation. Developed in partnership with Lardall Medical and Walters Kluwer, this online simulation solution incorporates nationally recognized simulation scenarios and content to bring the full simulation solution to every student. New for the 2015 semester, vSIM for Nursing debuts Fundamentals, among the newest in the program's lineup of core nursing curriculum. Included in vSIM for Nursing Fundamentals are 10 patient scenarios expertly authored by the National League for Nursing. Let's take a closer look at the Mona Hernandez oxygenation case. The scenario begins as the patient reports shortness of breath and experiences oxygen desaturation after ambulation. Nursing students will be expected to recognize a change in the patient's oxygenation status, perform a focused assessment on the respiratory system, apply oxygen in response to findings, and encourage the patient to perform coughing and deep breathing exercises. Students will meet a number of learning objectives following the vSIM for Nursing Fundamentals course. In general, students will be able to respond to changes in patient status, 
Use standard precautions when caring for the patient. Ensure patient and healthcare provider safety. And collaborate appropriately with the healthcare team in a timely, organized, and patient specific manner. Each action the student performs will be logged and included as part of their remediation at a later time. Students can choose safety measures, a variety of communication options, patient assessments, interventions, medication management, and tests and diagnostics for the appropriate actions to take with their patients. For additional guidance, the student can reference the patient record highlighted at the bottom of the screen to see all actions that have been taken with the student previously and to see if there are any provider orders to be addressed. After identifying provider orders that require further action, students can continue to work with the patient using the various tabs within the simulation. If the student reaches a point within the simulation where they are unsure to proceed or if the student has completed the scenario, they can choose to end it at any time by clicking the button at the bottom of the screen. The student will receive an immediate feedback log personalized to their actions with the patient. This remediation will outline all of the actions taken with the patient and will include smart sense links to more information. Thank you for watching VSIM for Nursing Fundamentals. VSIM for Nursing Medical Surgical includes 10 medical surgical patient scenarios authored by the National League for Nursing. Let's take a closer look at each of these cases. Patient Kenneth Bronson, pneumonia, anaphylactic reaction to an antibiotic. Kenneth Bronson is a 27-year-old male admitted to the medical unit with pneumonia. The students will administer IV antibiotics and the patient will experience a reaction to the antibiotics. Scenario Objectives Implement a focused respiratory assessment for a patient with pneumonia. Recognize signs and symptoms of an adverse drug reaction. And implement emergency treatment for the anaphylactic reaction. Patient Jennifer Hoffman, acute severe asthma. Jennifer Hoffman is a 33-year-old female who has asthma and requires respiratory assessment and medication administration. Scenario objectives. Implement a focused respiratory assessment. Recognize signs and symptoms of asthma exacerbation, and implement appropriate treatment of asthma exacerbation. Patient Vincent Brody, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, spontaneous pneumothorax. Vincent Brody is a 67 year old male diagnosed with COPD. He will desaturate over time and will require a chest drain to be inserted due to a spontaneous pneumothorax. Scenario objectives. Implement a focused respiratory assessment. Implement appropriate treatment for exacerbation of COPD. Recognize signs and symptoms of pneumothorax secondary to COPD. Implement emergency treatment for pneumothorax. And identify the need for legal consent for chest tube insertion. Patient Carl Shapiro, acute myocardial infarction. Carl Shapiro is a 54-year-old male he develops chest tightness and five minutes into the case has a cardiac arrest. Scenario objectives. Implement a focused cardiovascular assessment of a patient with acute coronary syndrome. Recognize cardiac arrest and ventricular fibrillation. And implement basic life support algorithm including the use of an automatic external defibrillator, AED. Patient Skylar Hansen, diabetes. Skylar Hansen is an 18-year-old male patient presented to the emergency department with hypoglycemia. Scenario objectives. Recognize signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia. Analyze lab values to identify metabolic imbalance. And implement appropriate emergency treatment for hypoglycemia. Patient Marilyn Hughes. Lower leg fracture, compartment syndrome. Marilyn Hughes is a 45-year-old female with a mid-shaft tib-fib fracture and develops compartment syndrome. Scenario objectives. Implement appropriate focused neurovascular assessment. Recognize symptoms of compartment syndrome as a potential fracture complication and manage post-operative complications in a timely manner. 
Patient, Stan Chekets, postoperative bowel obstruction, fluid and electrolyte imbalance. Stan Chekets is a 52-year-old male admitted to the emergency department with abdominal pain and nausea for NG tube insertion and pain relief. Scenario objectives. Identify signs and symptoms of bowel obstruction and severe dehydration. Analyze lab values to identify fluid and electrolyte imbalance. And implement treatment of bowel obstruction and dehydration in a timely manner. Patient, Doris Bowman, immediate post-operative abdominal hysterectomy, opioid intoxication. Doris Bowman is a 38-year-old female patient in PACU after TAH and SPO. She is complaining of pain and given morphine. She will then develop narcosis, which requires administration of naloxone. Scenario objectives. Provide appropriate post-operative care. Recognize signs and symptoms of an adverse drug reaction. Recognize signs and symptoms of respiratory distress and select appropriate airway management and oxygen delivery methods. Patient, Vernon Watkins, postoperative hemicolectomy, pulmonary embolism. Vernon Watkins is a 69-year-old male patient who unexpectedly experiences respiratory complications associated with pulmonary embolism. The student is expected to provide postoperative care recognizing and managing critical respiratory complications. Patient, Lloyd Bennett, postoperative hip arthroplasty, blood transfusion reaction. Lloyd Bennett is a 76-year-old male who was admitted through the emergency department two days ago with a femoral head fracture sustained in a fall outdoors and underwent left hip arthroplasty. The student will be expected to demonstrate basic care, administer blood, and recognize and respond appropriately to reactions to the blood transfusion. Scenario objectives. Implement blood administration protocol. Monitor for potential side effects related to blood administration. Recognize signs and symptoms of hemolytic blood transfusion reaction. And implement emergency treatment for blood transfusion reaction in a timely manner. The electronic health record, EHR, is a patient's medical chart. In addition to viewing information about the patient, it allows students to view test results, check provider's orders, verify medications administered, and review other pertinent patient information. Actions that are performed in the scenario are automatically recorded in the patient log, and medications are listed in the medication administration record. It is important to refer to the EHR throughout the scenario to help make the best clinical decisions. In this example, the observation chart allows learners to assess trends within patient vital signs to make critical decisions about patient condition and treatment, while the medication administration record allows students to see what medications have been delivered that may impact patient outcomes. The following video provides an overview of what students will experience when performing virtual simulation using vSIM for nursing. This video represents the Medical Surgical Scenarios module, one of several modules available with vSIM for Nursing. Discover a unique approach to simulation. Developed in partnership by Laerdal Medical and Lippincott Williams and Wilkins, this online simulation solution incorporates nationally recognized simulation scenarios and content to bring a full simulation experience to every student to develop individual clinical confidence and competence. Students can access the simulations online anytime, anywhere to find a variety of learning tools and simulation scenarios. vSIM for Nursing is available as part of a fully integrated Lippincott's Course Point solution for medical surgical nursing or is available as a separate product. To begin, students will find suggested readings, which include SmartSense links to added content. SmartSense links provide access to a variety of additional information for the scenario, which may include a fully integrated ebook for Lippincott's course point adopters, and access to evidence-based point-of-care reference materials used by practicing nurses every day. Next, students will take a pre-simulation quiz to assess foundational knowledge needed for the scenario. Once students feel prepared, they can click to access the simulation scenario. Students will meet their patient and read an overview of the patient's scenario. 
They can then choose to go see the patient. Students can search within the simulation to choose their desired patient interaction, or they can use the various tabs on the right side of the screen. I'll wash my hands first. Each action a student performs will be logged and provided as part of their remediation at a later time. Students can choose safety measures, a variety of communication options, patient assessments, interventions, medication management, and tests and diagnostics for the appropriate actions to take with their patient. For some guidance, students can reference the patient record, which will be highlighted at the bottom of the screen, to see all actions that have been taken with this patient previously, and to see if there are any provider orders that need to be addressed. After identifying provider orders that require action, students can continue to work with the patient using the various tabs within the simulation. If the student reaches a point in the scenario where they are unsure how to proceed, or if the student has completed the scenario, they can choose to end the scenario at any time by clicking the button at the bottom of the screen. Students will receive an immediate feedback log that is personalized to their action with the patient. This remediation will outline all actions taken with the patient and will include SmartSense links to more information. Students can perform the simulation over and over again and will receive personalized feedback each time to build their confidence and competence with this patient. After students have completed the simulation scenario, they can take a graded post-simulation quiz to assess their comprehension of the full scenario. They will also be able to continue the patient scenario with documentation activities. If your program is using Lippincott's DocuCare, these patient records are already loaded in the system for a seamless documentation experience with vSIM for nursing. The last step of the simulation experience is guided reflection. You can lead the discussion with a variety of reflection questions or allow students to read through the questions as self-study. As an instructor, you have a variety of ways to measure your students' success and progress within the computer simulation experience. You will be able to check to see if students have completed the pre-simulation quiz, have access to the student feedback logs from the simulation, receive grades for the post-simulation quizzes, and send and receive documentation on student activities electronically if they are using Lippincott's DocuCare. Contact your sales representative for more information. There are several resources and tools available for you for learning more about virtual simulation and how vSIM is being integrated into nursing curriculums. Visit the vSIM for Nursing page on Lairdall.com to learn more. If you're considering implementing vSIM for Nursing at your institution, you may be interested in a free trial which can be set up through one of our local Lairdall representatives who can help you further. You may also download our free nursing education guides available to you on Lairdall.com to make the most out of integrating virtual simulation into your nursing program. These free curriculum integration guides provide strategies and best practices for the use of vSIM for nursing in programs across all types of nursing education. The guide is based on data collected from faculty who participated in pilot testing of vSIM for nursing and provide instruction in a wide array of classroom, clinical, lab, and simulation settings. On behalf of Lairdall Medical, we thank you and hope you enjoy the rest of your day.